What is up guys, you're with Flux Raven here, and today we're doing the episode 2 review, and you guys are probably like, Flux Raven, where is the live reaction? And I'm sorry guys, I am not doing a live reaction for this video, in fact, I am going to avoid doing them, I will do impression videos, so like here and there I will show clips of how I reacted to the episode, it might be one in this vid, there might not be. For the finale, I probably will do live reaction, or if there's like a really, really good episode. So I'll be I'll be recording just in case there's something really good I want to share with you guys. I'm also not doing it because I'm taking summer classes. Doing live reactions takes a lot of work, especially when I edit through them, because I like to edit to the best parts. And that way I can get more of these episodic reviews, more of my regular reviews out to you guys faster. You guys get more content from me then. That's a positive. And also... I'm just busy, you know, I gotta hang out with my family, it's the summertime, I can't always spend time doing this, and this takes a lot more time, like, I mean, live reactions are fun, but they take a lot more time for me, I apologize, guys, I hope you guys aren't mad about that, I hope you stick around, you should, you better, but there will be impression vids and some live reactions, just not as often, so at last episode, we got introduced to Kaya Kosaki, who is the new coach, She's a girl. She's fantastic. Nice looking bod. She's got a diving suit on and she's wearing a jacket over it, but you can still like see her just a little bit, just a little bit of the, the boob area with the bikini suit on. The thing about the coach too is that she's kind of got a weird technique where uh, she tells them to go on the platforms and then calls them back down with even letting them dive because she's like, your posture and your body alignment is all wrong for all three of you. Except for the blonde guy. She just kind of lets him sit on the sidelines because she knows he's good. He's good. They do this weird analogy. I think it's an analogy where uh, they use a grape and a cucumber to like show how proper body alignment, how you dive better into like the water. It, it, it was a weird, it was weird. Kind of reminded me of like prison school using Legos for their escape plan. The other thing we learned about the coach is that she is the granddaughter of the passed away chairman of the MDC club. Which, that was a cool little thing that they told us this episode. And I think the blonde guy, the, the serious guy, uh, makes a comment about how nice that ass is. And like, look at that ass. And I was like, oh, he's, he, you know, he had a little bit of humor in this episode. Even though he's just kind of still quiet and just very monotone. I like his character. He had a few good scenes in this one. So did Tomoki, actually. He's actually working hard to maybe make it into the Tokyo Olympics. You know, he's doing all his voluntary workout because the coach said so. And he's running with his dog. We get one minute of the dog this episode, which I'm very happy. I wanted to see more of the dog. I'm happy they showed the dog, even if it's just for a minute. It's like the dragons in Game of Thrones. You just you just want a little taste of it. Sachin's being Sachin. I like him. Sachin is Sachin. Sachin! I like Sachin. Discount Levi and the comedic guy I don't think are working that hard on their own free time or at all. I don't think they're going to make it into the Olympics. And if they do, it, I call fiction, anime, TV show bullshit. And then there's the new guy. The guy who I thought was bad in the first video I did of this. The, the live reaction of episode one. With Shibuki Okitsu. And he's like the guy with the evil eyebrows. And I thought he was bad, but apparently he's not. And he's joining the MDC to be a candidate to make it the Tokyo Summer Olympics next year. I actually like his character. It's it's kind of like it's fake. It's bullshit. Again, it's TV show fan fiction because he's a guy who's never dived in a pool with a real platform. He only dives off cliffs in the Sugara Beach or ocean. He dives off cliffs into the ocean. That's... That's his heritage. His family heritage has always been doing that. They never dive in a natural pool. And I'm like, okay, this is awesome. But you know it's like, okay. They um, show him dive at the very end of the episode, which was the best part of the whole episode. I love that. I love the music they played there. He kind of messes up the entry, which is okay, because like everyone's amazed. They're like, whoa, look at all like that force and that charisma of jumping off and stuff. Like all he needs to do is he has to work on his entry and make it little as splashing as possible because he makes a huge splash like it's like one of these splashes like this yeah! just like that it's just like that splash there's some stupid moments in this episode there's a part where they're in the locker room and the blonde cool guys just like yeah guys we have to work hard on our own time and stuff because she wants us to make it into the tokyo olympics and they're all like what why? We didn't hear this before, but in the beginning of the episode, in the last episode, they're told that. They're told that. It, and you're like, what? And he's like, and if none of us make it to the Olympics, our diving club is closing down. And everyone's like, what? That happens too if we don't make it to the Olympics? But sh the coach said both these things in the beginning, in the last episode. And you're like, fucking anime. They're just being like, audience, audience, if no one makes it, 
into the Olympics in this diving club, the diving club shuts down. Wow, thank you for telling us that for like the, what was that, the seventh time now? I thought this was actually better than the first episode because the first episode was just introduction, which a lot of animes do that. Some animes do better pilots. I do like the end of the episode, Shibuki, where he jumps off. The music's perfect. He's awesome. He's my favorite character now. I, he's definitely my favorite character in this show. I just like his story, even though it's a little bit fictionalized. You know what I mean? Like, it, come on. He's a guy, he dives in the ocean. Give me a break. That's like, that's like a guy who's like, you're going to join Premier League soccer, but we found you on an island and you play soccer on sand always. You can be one of the best. What? I also goofed on this, but Tobaki, the main guy, is still seeing the girl, and I think her name is Mew, and his brother is jealous of him. He's jealous of his brother because Tomaki is spending so much time diving and stuff that his older brother likes the same girl, and he's like, you're not spending any time with her. She deserves a better man, like me. Wow, brother, you're a fucking dick. She's a piece of shit. I don't like that guy. Overall, what do I think of this episode? I think it's pretty good. I'm hoping they spend maybe one episode more or two, just like on teaching, maybe one more only, and like actually get into like the Olympics, introducing the competition. They hint on an American guy, and I'm wondering if that's that douchebag, long-haired, blonde guy we saw briefly in the first episode when I think they were actually skipped ahead to the Olympics already. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it. Let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, and a comment, just like I said. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. That was my dive sound effect. Woo!